What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. All right, so moving right along, got a really quick tip today, and I just wanted to take a moment to talk about a preference that was added sometime in version 3 towards the end of its life cycle that I actually haven't covered yet, and I haven't seen any other content on it as well. So let's go ahead and open up our preferences. We scroll over to advanced and automation. You may have noticed this area over here, reduction level, and it's set to 50% by default. So I think it's worth mentioning that this 50% setting that is set up by default is essentially giving you the same behavior that we've always had with Studio One, but now we have some options in terms of how much, let's just call it smoothing out or thinning happens with the automation nodes when we write them in manually using either a mouse or a fader. All right, so to start off with, let's go ahead and let's set this to 100%. And I'll go ahead and click apply and okay. So I'm gonna head over to this track over here. We'll go back to the beginning. Let's put this in touch mode and let's go ahead and let's write some automation. I'm gonna go ahead and just start pulling this down. Keep an eye on these nodes. As I'm pulling this down, we have a concentration of all these nodes. I'm gonna go up a little bit further. I'm gonna pull down. I'm trying to do this so that I get as many as possible. Now I'm gonna let go and I want you to watch what happens. Okay, so you can see that we had some smoothing or some of those nodes just completely disappeared. This has to do with the reduction level setting. So at a reduction level of 100%, we have quite a few nodes that disappear. Let's go ahead and pull this all the way down to zero. We'll click apply and okay. Now let's go ahead, I'm gonna just put this one into read mode. Let's put this track into touch mode and let's go ahead and do the same thing. Keep in mind, these are the nodes that we were left off with when we did the last one. So let's go ahead now, we'll go back to the beginning and I'm gonna go ahead and write some volume automation. Maybe we'll zoom in a little bit as well. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this, we're in touch mode and I'm gonna start pulling this down and you'll see all of these nodes that we have over here, they're quite concentrated together in terms of being really, really close to each other. We've got quite a lot of detail in these volume movements in terms of fine node details that are happening. I'm gonna let go, look what happened here. We have no reduction whatsoever in our volume automation. So essentially, this is the most accurate representation in terms of the volume automation nodes that were added when we have this setting set to zero. There is no reduction. There's no smoothing or no thinning or anything that's happening with your volume automation. When we have it set to 100%, there is quite a bit of smoothing. Now, last but not least, we can bring this back to 50%. To be honest with you, in general, I, I just leave this set to 50%. If I really need really, really fine detail, I might bump that up a little bit, uh, in, or sorry, bump it down in terms of having no reduction, but I find in general that the 50% works. So let's do a quick pass with everything set to the 50% reduction level, which is the default setting. So with our touch mode enabled, just go ahead and start adding some volume automation. And again, you just wanna, Pay attention to the nodes that are being created here as I'm writing this, and then the minute I let go of these nodes, you'll see what happens in terms of them being smoothed out over here. So this is all about, you know, whatever you want to call it, thinning, smoothing. It's just a preference that we have, and I know there's going to be two schools of thought here. Some people are going to want to have their automation be as accurate as possible. If that's the case, I would suggest that you go in here and you set this to zero or as close to zero. That means there will be no reduction of the automation nodes that are added. If you stand on the opposite end of the spectrum where you say, hey, you know what? I usually end up removing unnecessary nodes anyways after I'm done. If that's the case, then you might want to set the reduction to full which should give you, you know, a pretty average representation. And then if you did want to do any smoothing or if you did want to do any manual editing, I could come in here and, and I could choose whichever points that I wanted to, for example, remove. And I could refine this automation a little bit further and just kind of smooth things out and get it exactly the way I want to. So reduction level in Studio One. Now, just to point this out, if you're a Pro Tools user, and you are used to the preferences in Pro Tools, this is essentially the exact same thing as smooth and thin data after pass. And then we have the degree of thinning that we can set over here. This is the exact same thing in Studio One. It's operating under the exact same principle 
of being able to thin or smooth all of the automation nodes that were created after you've gone ahead and done an automation pass of any parameter, regardless of whether you're using a fader or you're automating with a mouse or whatever the case is. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you guys got something out of this. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll do my best to get back to you. If you're finding this content useful, please go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.